Good morning, Pastor Aaron here with uh, your devotional thought for Thursday. Happy Thursday to you, by the way. Um, I have a little, I have some news. We got new landscaping here at the Maple Campus. Yippee, skippy, look at this. We got a crab apple tree there and some hostas back there and new sod. Got the mulch put down and grass getting sown over there. We are so ready for mission and ministry here at Ascension Lutheran Church. And I'm gonna come inside because it's a little windy out there. But we are excited. We are ready to reach people with the gospel and make disciples of Jesus right here, right now. Um, I have a couple announcements for y'all. Number one is men's retreat. We have a men's retreat coming up May 14th and 15th. It's going to be awesome. It's going to change your life. I guarantee it. Whether it changes it for the better, that's up to that's between you and God, but I'm it's going to be it's going to be good. Deadline for registration is May 7th, so let me know if you're interested. <clears throat> bring a friend too. You're welcome to bring a friend. But here's I just have this one little quote from Leslie Newbegin, a famous missiologist and theologian. Um about mission, okay? So a lot of times we like to, I mean, we tend to think about mission work and sharing the gospel as uh, somewhat of an onerous task that we have to do, you know? But hear, hear this quote from Leslie Newbegin. There has been a long tradition which sees the mission of the church primarily as obedience to a command. It has been customary to speak of the quote-unquote missionary mandate, this way of putting the matter is certainly not without justification, and yet it seems to me that it misses the point. It tends to make mission a burden rather than a joy, to make it part of, a, of the law rather than part of the gospel. If one looks at the New Testament evidence, one gets another impression. Mission begins with a kind of explosion of joy. The news that the rejected and crucified Jesus is alive is something that cannot possibly be suppressed. It must be told. Who could be silent about such a fact? The mission of the church in the pages of the New Testament is more like the fallout from a vast explosion, a radioactive fallout, which is not lethal, but life-giving. So, that's my encouragement for you all today, is go about God's mission work of sharing the gospel and loving people with joy. A radioactive fallout, which is not lethal, but life-giving. I love that part. So don't think of it as an owner's task, but a, a joyous um, opportunity to, to share Jesus rising from the dead and saving the world. Thanks for listening. God bless your day.